Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. My name is Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. Discovery of oil at Komani River, a boost for oil and gas exploration in northern Nigeria. Minister of Wunaya Ono. Oil theft, pipeline repairs, orders drop 41% to 29 billion naira. IPMAN faults federal government over inability to tackle pipeline vandalism. Now the news in details. Nigeria's Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Bonaya Ono, has said that the discovery of crude oil at Komani River in the Upper Benue is a big boost for oil and gas exploration in the country's frontier basin and northern Nigeria. He made the remark at a national workshop on research activities in Nigeria's inland basin held in Bauchi. The minister, who was represented by Professor Jidere Bala, Director General of Energy Commission of Nigeria, attributed the efforts of research activities to the discovery of crude oil at River Coman. He reiterated the desire of the federal government to grow the country's petroleum reserves to about 40 billion barrels by 2030 through diversification from Niger Delta's basin to include the frontier basins of Benue, Anambra, Bida, Chad, Dahomey, and Sokoto. The cost of pipeline repairs and management dropped to 29.23 billion naira in October 2021 from 49.68 billion naira recorded in the corresponding post in 2020, indicating a decrease of 41% according to the NMPC. A breakdown of the development showed that the corporation recorded the highest spending in October as a total of 6.5 billion naira was utilized for the repair of pipelines and other facilities. Further breakdown of the development showed that 12.91 billion was spent between the period under review as a security and maintenance costs. 9.83 billion naira was utilized for pipeline repair, while 6.66 billion naira was recorded as a strategic holding cost. The corporation did not record any expense on maritime distribution and pipeline management costs. The Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria (IPMAN) faulted the federal government over its inability to tackle pipeline vandalism in the country. Senior Special Assistant on Special Duties to the Chairman, National Task Force on Anti-Pipeline Vandalization, Petroleum Product Adulteration and Monitoring, Mozuzu Chigozie, said that illegal refineries should be legalized rather than destroyed. He said the federal government should probe the direct sale and direct purchase NSDP of crude oil schemes beheaded by NMPC. The federal government has lost the capacity to stop vandalism and illegal refinery. They have failed in their capacity to provide to Nigeria's functional refineries. It is ridiculous that in this modern era, Nigeria is to import in refined products. How can Nigeria be taking crude abroad for refining, he said. The Nigerian Navy ship NNS B. Croft Apapa Lagos arrested no fewer than 16 suspected pipeline vendors at Agbagbo segment of the NMPC pipelines. According to the commander NNS B. Croft, Commander Bashir Mohammed, the arrest was made by the ship's tax force at the Atlas Cove over a credible intelligence report. He said the suspects were arrested with 73 kegs of 50 liters and 18 kegs of 25 liters, each filled with products suspected to be premium motor spirits and two fiber boats with 175 HP each. Some were also arrested during a routine harbor patrol at the creek around the Snake Island. The arrest will send a message to the criminals of the Nigerian Navy's resolve of zero tolerance to pipeline vandalism and illegal bunkering. Ellen Lesby Cruz will not relent in executing the mandate of the Chief of Naval Staff CNS Vice Admiral Awan Gambo, which is geared towards eliminating economic sabotage, thereby boosting national prosperity.
Algerian State Oil and Gas Company Sona Trach and Italian Energy Group Eni on Tuesday signed agreement on hydrocarbons and energy transition, Sona Trach said in a statement. The first contract is an agreement of $1.4 billion exploration and product contract in the Burkin Basin area in southeastern Algeria for the production of 45,000 barrels of oil equivalent per day, Sona Shrat said. The contract covers a total area of 7,880 square kilometers in the southern part of Burkin Basin where Sona Shrat and Eni have been operating since 2013. The second agreement for cooperation in the energy transition sector aims to strengthen the existing technological cooperation and pursue efforts to reduce the carbon footprint, according to Sona Trash. The agreement will focus on joint development of renewable and new energies, particularly in production of solar energy, lithium prospecting, biofuels and hydrogen production, Sona Trash added. Amid a surging demand for more cash by bank customers in this new tight season approaches, some deposit money banks have slashed the withdrawal limits of their customers. Finding across bank branches in some key cities in the country revealed that many customers could not withdraw the total amount they needed over the counter due to lack of inadequate amounts of cash on parts of the banks. Some bank customers said bank officials simply reduced the amount their customers wanted to withdraw and asked them to use alternative channels to carry out the outstanding transaction. Furthermore, it was learned that most of the banks did not load all their ATMs, a situation that worsened the plight of the customers. The development, it was learned, affected several operators of point of sale businesses who could not withdraw enough cash from the banks and the ATM to run their businesses properly. Customers from several parts of the country, including Lagos, Taraba, Ogun, Ondo, Abuja, shared their grievances in separate interviews. Some of the customers observed that the problem has started since the previous week. Before we end the news, here's a recap of our headlines. Discovery of oil at Komani River, a boost for oil and gas exploration in northern Nigeria, Dr. Obunaya Ono. Oil theft, pipeline repairs, orders drop 41% to 29 billion naira. IPMAN faults federal government over inability to tackle pipeline vandalism. And that's the news. My name is Naomi Oleribe. Thank you for watching.